So next up in the countdown, the transporter erector, or TE, will begin to retract from Falcon 9. That is the large truss structure you see there standing next to the rocket. It's hinged at the base and connected to the launch mount beneath the first stage. First, the clamps around the second stage will begin to Falcon open. tanks are pressing for strong back retract. And we're he hearing good calls. Dragon is in configure for terminal count. And we're continuing to hear great callouts over the nets. Then the TE will begin to pivot back, slowly singing, swinging away from the rocket, and it will reach full recline in just about a minute. Strongback retract has started. And we are just beginning that strongback retraction process. Um, it's called the strongback. It's also called the TE or transport director. Same structure, different name. The TE does a lot more than just lean. It rolls Falcon 9 out to the pad, raises it vertical, and stays connected through the final seconds. It provides fuel, power, telemetry, and command connections between ground systems and the rocket. Those clamps at the top help stabilize the second stage during fueling, and they also help prevent movement in high winds. And once they open, which you can see on your screen, they are slowly pulling away. And once they open fully, the rocket is fully free at the top. Propellant continues to be loaded late here in the countdown as we're approaching three minutes and 30 seconds. We're continuing to keep an eye on the weather, and that's going to be the biggest thing as uh, everything continues to march towards that liftoff timeline. But you can see there the strong back starting to move ever so slowly away from the rocket. The clamp arms are open, and you also see those white clouds starting to billow off the rocket itself. Those are perfectly normal as it's uh, the coolness of the propellant on board is mixing with that warm Florida air, and that's what causes that boil off and that uh, you heard Nick talk about it earlier when you have that steam come off the rocket, so it looks like uh, a lot of clouds billing went off it as well. But approaching the T-minus three-minute mark, and that's where one lock load complete. And that's what I was about to say is that you're going to hear that liquid oxygen load be complete. So everything is primed and pretty much ready to go. And you'll see again those white clouds of vapor and a great view of the entire rocket as uh, it, we continue to build closer to launch. And of course, liquid oxygen, super chilled. Dragon so a little bit. Terminal count and on internal power. Boils off in that warm Florida air. And now load complete. We're on internal power. And we're also going to hear gas closeouts are going to start to begin as well. And then everything will get vented overboard through the umbilicals and strong back, and you may hear some of that venting noise come in soon. So LOX is still loading for approximately another 20 seconds on stage two, and once that is complete, we'll vent down the TE, which will produce a white cloud off the side of the rocket, which is normal and, and expected, just as Joseph had mentioned. And once LOX load is fully complete, that will mean that there are one million pounds of propellant loaded onto Falcon 9, which will be RP1 and, and liquid oxygen. So that, Call out coming up. Stage two, lock foot complete. Right there. So we just heard that confirmation of stage two, liquid oxygen now complete, as we are now one minute and 50 seconds away from launch. We'll also hear that the gas closeouts have started, so we can expect Grab loud venting. Auto idle. You heard the call for auto idle. That puts the rocket in a state that the flight computers understand before it takes over, making sure that transition to the final countdown is smooth and that all flight computers on board are in sync. Ground gas closeouts, expect loud venting. Configured for launch, and there's the closeouts we've been talking about and the venting that will be shortly followed. One minute and 10 seconds to lift off of NASA SpaceX Crew 11. FTS is armed, Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. Flight computers switching to countdown mode now. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, go for launch. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, mission. Mission's full power and lift off. Go Thomas, go NASA, go through 11. Together we rise as NASA SpaceX Crew 11 heads up to the International Come Space Station. Vehicles Alpha. pitching down range. 1.7 million pounds Stage of thrust. propulsion is nominal. Propelling Falcon 9 as the vehicle pitching down range and making its way up the East Coast and will soon join Expedition 73 aboard the orbiting laboratory. So far, getting good callouts on that first stage performance. We are now T plus 35 seconds into the Crew 11 mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon, the Falcon 9 engines stage one throttle down. are throttling down to help. Our telemetry are nominal to help pass through the period of max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle during ascent. Max Q. We just had max Q right there. Falcon 9 is supersonic. One minute, nine seconds into what is a little bit more, less than up. a nine minute flight uphill as Dragon continuing. Stage one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. And that one Bravo again, that's the abort zone, that last abort zone for stage one if necessary. The crew already pulling over two Gs. And next we're gonna have a couple of events happen in rapid succession. We'll be getting ready for the second stage to warm up and have the second stage and back chill. And then we'll also have Mika or main engine cutoff where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages will then be separating from one another. And then the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry crew 11 to orbit while the first stage begins its journey back to Earth, as we're now a minute and 56 seconds into today's flight. The nine Merlin engines are starting to throttle down and are standing by for Mika or main engine cutoff. And back chill has started. And we just heard that call out for M back chill. And coming up in, in under the 20 seconds, we have five events happening back to back. Miko, stage one throttle down. Stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, and the start of boost back burn. It's going to be pretty quick, so keep a close eye on the action and the mission event tracker, engine cut off. tracker at the bottom of your screen. Stage two alpha. Stage separation two confirmed. Alpha. And back ignition. And there you see stage one pulling away, ignition of the lone Merlin vacuum engine for stage two. And again, those happening in quick succession as we continue to get great views of that Florida coastline and the eastern seaboard there as Crew 11 continuing its path to orbit, now approaching three minutes into today's flight. Still a little ways to go, about six minutes left as they continue to climb their way up and eventually track down the International Space Station. And there, a great see, you see the Merlin vacuum engine, the second stage on the right-hand side, and great views of the first stage that's making its return to Earth on the left. About five and a half minutes of a powered flight remaining as we continue to monitor the progress of both vehicles, stage two and crew 11, making the climb uphill, and stage one looking to land again at landing zone one, the last landing at that location for this Falcon 9 booster. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Dragon copy. We are hearing, we're continuing to hear great call outs over the nets that both Dragon and Falcon are right on track to orbit. So the first stage booster is now on its way to landing zone one. And we just saw those grid fins open up on the left hand side of your screen. The first stage has a couple events ahead of its landing. Stage one will start its entry burn, which will be the second of three burns to return the booster a few miles from its launch site at landing zone one. During this entry burn, Falcon 9 will use its engines to pump the brakes to slow the vehicle down before it reaches the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And if you didn't know, Falcon 9 has a complex heat shield that is designed to protect the engines and the vehicle from all that combined thermal and aerodynamic loading during max entry queue, which is the moment of max stress on the vehicle during entry. And that will be followed by a landing burn. And this burn will last for about- Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing to hear good Dragon calls. Copies. 
Great performance calls continue as we're now five minutes into today's flight. Still about eight and a half to go. A little bit more than that is the second stage continuing to perform nominally on the right hand side. 2400 meters per second. Crew 11 cruising into the upper echelons of the Earth's atmosphere while we continue to monitor the second stage on that left hand side. And we'll also get continued guidance and navigation call outs from the control officers here in SpaceX. Dragon is pointed in the right direction and continuing its flight. And again, that second stage going to continue firing until close to that nine minute mark into flight and accelerating Dragon to more than 17,000 miles per hour and placing the crew in orbit. And you'll hear good orbital insertion would be that call out. There's the single Merlin vacuum engine that can produce over 220,000 nominal trajectory. Pounds of thrust on that nominal trajectory you're hearing Dragon right now. Copy. And into the vacuum of space. Now approaching six minutes into today's flight, about two minutes and 40 plus seconds remaining. We are coming up on the entry burn, which is just under 30 seconds from now. And so you'll see the first stage's center Merlin engine reignite as it comes back down to Earth. And after that, we will be Stage approaching. Entry burn startup. And there is the beginning of entry burn right there. Again, this is the second of three burns to return the booster to Stage landing zone one. just made it through entry burn and you're getting some great views too on that stage one's return to the florida coastline again landing at landing zone one while on the right hand side the second stage and that merlin vacuum engine continuing to propel crew 11 dragon spacex nominal trajectory into orbit and dragon copies and again great and now with about two minutes left of a powered flight remaining still receiving those great calls from the crew on the ground and we're getting those relays from crew 11 commander Zena Carter. Stage one transonic. We are now very quickly approaching the start of our landing burn where three engines, engines one, five, and nine will relight to help slow the vehicle down just before it touches down on landing zone one. We should hopefully have some great tracking shots of that. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deployed. A fantastic return there of the stage one booster. Rest time, we our final plan landing at LB1. Another so a successful landing of the first stage booster as we continue to follow along with a little less now than one minute of powered flight of the second stage. And you'll hear the call out Seco or second engine cutoff is great view there, glowing orange with the Earth eclipsing right around that Merlin vacuum engine and everything continuing to perform nominally for NASA Stage SpaceX two, crew terminal guidance. About 20 more seconds remaining of powered flight, and we'll get those call outs here shortly as everything continuing. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. And there's the great call out for Shannon. We talked about earlier that last abort zone, if necessary, where they can land off the coast of Shannon, Ireland. Seco. There we just that heard that good call out for Seco or second engine cutoff. Coming up next will be stage separation. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And that's the great call Dragon you want to hear. Launch is Skepsis empty sound. A good look inside the trunk there as you're looking for that separation, but you want to hear that nominal orbital insertion as Crew 11 now has reached microgravity. So now we'll continue to coast for a little bit uh, after after Seco to allow rates and motion from the burn to settle out. Right now we have a great view on our screen of the Dragon heat shield actually, which is made up of similar similar materials. And there we have that Dragon and stage two separation. As we see Dragon coast into its orbit. And a wonderful view there is Dragon Endeavor with Crew 11 on board. A safe 
Captain and, separation confirmed. And safe in. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Xena, Mike, Kimia, Oleg, welcome to orbit. On behalf of the entire Falcon team, we thank you for flying with Falcon today and wish you a great mission. Dragon will take you from here. Over to Launch Director for a few words. On behalf of the launch team, it's been an absolute honor working with you towards launch today. We wish you well on the rest of your mission, and we will be awaiting your safe return. Godspeed Endeavor, Godspeed Crew 11, and thanks for flying SpaceX. SpaceX Dragon, I have no emotion but joy right now. That was absolutely transcendent, ride of a lifetime. Thank you. This has been an incredible honor, and it's my privilege now to pass me uh, pass us along to Mike for some additional words. Boy, it's great to be back in orbit again. Thank you to SpaceX and NASA to get us here. What a ride! And uh, Zena and Oleg, let me be the second to welcome you to your first orbit around beautiful planet Earth. Kimi san, Okayeri Nasai, welcome back. And to the ISS Expedition 73 team, the crew on board and our friends in MCC, we're on our way. Over to you, Kimi san. Okay. Thank you very much for everything. Spasiba wan boishoe, arigatou gozaimasu. Nihon no minasan, watashi mo 10 nen buri ni uchiu ni kaette kimashita. ISS de shikkai to nimmu o hatashite, ittou sen no yoni kagaeite, Nihon no subarashii tokoro wo sekai jiu no hitto ni shite itadakitai to omimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ya, Pidayu, Odebisan, spasiba, patiwarusita. Spasiba, Kimiya-san. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. And spasiba всiem. I'd like for the beginning to say thank you very much. Uh, Roscosmos, SpaceX, and NASA for the, this unique opportunity to be here with my great uh, crew. Uh, дорогие друзья, находясь на космическом корабле и облетая нашу родную планету, я испытываю неописуемое счастье и восторг. Хочу выразить слова благодарности всей нашей стране, Соединенным Штатам Америки и России за эту уникальную возможность, а также Роскосмосу. Хочу выразить слова благодарности своей школе, в которой я учился, номер 103 в городе Челябинске, выразить благодарность Краснодарскому высшему военному авиационному училищу летчиков и 22-му гвардейскому истребительному авиационному полку, а также сотрудникам Центра подготовки космонавтов, кто искренне верил и болел за эту идею отправить меня в космос, обещаю выполнить все поставленные передо мной задачи на отлично. Ура! We copy all of your words. We are very excited for you to have reached orbit. And we will now proceed with getting you to the International Space Station. Uh, you have a approximately three minutes left in this Crown Station Pass if you'd like to introduce your zero-G indicator.